the horse modular seeder and planter is back to farm sip. What's going on everybody, DJ Cohab here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 13 mods for you. For all platforms, I've got eight new mods and three mod updates. And for PC and Mac, I've got two mod updates. Let's check it out. First up, we've got the Horse Modular System. This is the Horse Pronto 6AS with the Maestro 8RC right here. So what this is, is this is basically a six meter planter or cedar and you, you don't have to actually buy a lot and price is super super good let's jump in and check these out real quick so we're gonna go into tools we're gonna go into cedars and because this is horse if you have the horse stuff downloaded it's gonna be right after that we're gonna start with the horse sw3500s 50 grand this does seed and fertilizer it's gonna hold 5,000 total liters of both and only requires 140 horsepower so let's go in and check this out this is more or less a cultivator it says cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing an additional tank for capacity for your tools packer yes or no that extra packer in the front is going to cost you $6,500. It's not going to do anything new or different. So if you don't need it, you don't have to get it. It doesn't matter. It's just a visual thing. But if you like it, go for it. What this allows us to do is hook up a cedar or planter to the back, but they are proprietary to this mod itself. So we've got the six meter cultivator and cedar tank front portion. Then we go into the Pronto 6AS. This is the cedar version. As you can see, right here is where they hook up. That is not a three point. I have tried it, it will not work. 60 horsepower required, so total system requirement of 200 horsepower, six meters, 11 miles per hour. This will do all your base crops, so wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, and grass. I'll, again, normal crops right there. $25,000, I don't know what else to say about this. Uh, it's, it's a cedar, yeah, yeah. We've also got the Horse Maestro 8RC. This does all your corn crops. So your corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton. If we go in, otherwise it's exactly the same. 60 horsepower required, six meters, 11 miles per hour. Yeah, I said that, it is quick. It is real quick for a cedar or planter rather. Otherwise, again, normal, exactly the same. These do have the, uh, the guideline discs on here so if you use those you can use that as well otherwise that's it right there that's how it works if you want to learn how to use it all you got to do is just back it up to this section right here so you will line up this section with this section all the hoses and everything connect and you've got a cedar and then drop it off and pick up another one and you got a planter this is genius <laughs> agrotechnic you guys killed it on this one, yeah, yeah. Next up, we have the Lizard T032. This is a trailer or manure spreader for all platforms. I know a lot of you guys that do all platforms like using older equipment. There's just not a whole lot of it. Care less about capacity, size, whatever. You just want some older stuff to use. This is going to be perfect for you guys. Let's check it out at the store. We're going to find this actually going to be found in manure spreaders, not in trailers. So we're going to go into manure spreaders. We're going to find it right here. T032, 3,500 liter capacity, 30 horsepower required at the PTO. So barely any at all. Um, it will do either manure or bulk as well. Eight mile per hour speed. So let's jump in here and check this out. So rim color, we've got quite a few. Of course, you have your grays. You've got greens, reds, old colors through here. Old colors. I don't actually know if anything matches anything. That's going to be the biggest parcel right here. But again, you could do whatever you want there. Main color, again, same thing. Same color options even. So you could change the entire thing the same color if you'd really want. Design color, again, come in here, change it whatever you would like. Well, say not whatever you would like, but you know what I mean. Configuration, we have standard, and then we have trailer. That's not going to cost you anything extra, whichever way you toss at it. Uh, it's just a normal, normal trailer right there, or a normal manure spreader. Protective cover, yes or no. That's going to be covering up the chain drive system right there, which is neat. And it will set up, so you've got standard, and you have wider tires. That's, that's it right there, but it's really cool. Um, if I go in here... Yep, it's not telling me if we can do lime or not with this. So 
Um, I would assume only manure. Next, we have the Lizard Mix L 141. This is a food dispenser used to distribute animal rations. <laughs> it's also known as a uh, food mixer, if you're curious about that. Um, it is neat, though, because it has low horsepower requirement and high capacity. Not crazy capacity. I like that one. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But it is a higher capacity than you would expect for something this size. So we're going to go into tools. We're going to go into animals. And here it is, the Mixel 141, $25,000, so very cheap, 14,000 liters, which is very good, and 70 horsepower required at the PTO, which ain't too bad at all. Of course, this does your total mix ration, so it's going to accept uh, hay, grass, or not grass, don't put grass in it, hay, straw, silage, uh, TMR, or forage. Um, and if you guys are curious about how to get rid of forage, I have a video about that. Just search on the channel, um, DJ Goham TMR. You'll be able to find that just fine there. And then no customization. So what you see is what you get, unfortunately, but there's really no customization to this. You go left side, you go right side. It's a normal food mixer. It doesn't look that big, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's not too bad at all. That's a good size. But then this came along. The Silo King Trailed Line System 104535. This is massive. Absolutely massive. Well, it's not massive to me, but this is huge. 45,000 liter capacity for food mixing. Uh, it's not quite the 60,000 liter capacity that we had in 17, but we're getting closer to that. We're getting very close to that. This is for all platforms, so PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. This is going to cost you $141,000. Again, as said before, 45,000 liter capacity. It's quite heavy, though. I will tell you that. It's quite heavy. Make sure you got something at least in the medium tractors to pull this thing. I tried pulling it with a 200 horsepower tractor, and it was not very happy with me. So right here it is. If we back out, all the specs are pretty much going to be the ex exact same. So does your hay, straw, silage, uh, TMR, your forage, does 240 horsepower. So you will need a bigger tractor to even run this thing. 45,000 liter capacity. If we come in here, we get Design 1, which is going to be more of a chrome wheel. And then we have Design 2, which is going to be a gray wheel. That is your only customization, but you do have that option, which I find extremely nice. And it doesn't cost you anything extra, depending on what you want to do. I like that. That's really, really cool. Otherwise, <laughs> it's just a hoss. You go out the left side, you can go out the right side. Whichever side you want to go out, you are good. Is there any connections in the back? Negative, so you're not going to be able to pull the trailer around or multiples of these together. But this is huge. This is a, a complete game changer in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. This is great. Next up, we have the Wash Station by Missy B. Missy B is killing it right now. Also, if anybody has Missy B's contact information, I would love to talk to them. I would really like to talk to them because they are killing it right now. And I want to make sure they know it. This is a wash station for your farmyard. Wash size vehicles from harvesters to implements. Uh, this is not a drive through. It is a pull in. Get your business to hold up. Are all the sides of this <laughs> invisible? Yo, that might just change the game right there already. So it looks cool, but you can still drive through it. Maybe we're about to try it out. You better believe it. So really, all you got to do is come into this section right here, grab it, and then it's just a normal wash station from there. Put it back, and you're good to go. How far can we go with this? Let me run. <laughs> so we can't go too far away from it. Um, wish we could run with these. That'd be great. There we go. So we've got a tractor right here. It is absolutely filthy. So filthy that we're just going to toss it about. Let's pull it in here, and let's see if we can get this thing washed up. Also, can we drive through? We can. So that changes it up just a little bit. That is not a bad thing at all. If you think it is, that is a great thing. The only thing maybe I could see is possibly putting the uh, trigger point to maybe on the side so that you could pull in something bigger and not have to worry about it. But grab a hold of it. Start spraying your vehicle. If you guys don't know, really all you got to do is just point it at it and it'll work. Uh, this also has 100% dirt on it, so it's getting cleaner. It's just taking a while, there we go. All right, so you don't have to actually like do this and move around or anything. It doesn't speed it up, you just 
point it like right there and you're good to go. But see, nice and clean. Uh, wait, did I just clean a vehicle? Oh no. <laughs> If you guys want to find this, it is going to be found in placeables and in miscellaneous. Next, we have shed. This is interesting because this is not in placeables and in sheds. This, even though it's called a shed, this is actually going to be found in placeables and in decorations, which is interesting. It makes you think, well, can I even use it? Yeah. Yeah, you can. If we go around it, you can see it's, well, kind of darker in the back, lighter in the front. And there's a couple ways to get in. We can actually get in here. However, you can't just do what you want. So we can open the gate there. We come over here, open that gate. We do have a light as well, which is extremely difficult to get to work. There we go. Uh, because triggers are just laid on top of each other. And then there's one at the top, which we're going to try to get into. But otherwise, unless you can pick something up, there's no way of getting anything in and out of here. Maybe eggs <laughs> or seed bags, something small like that. Now, of course, I've got this guy right here because I can't climb very good. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to raise this up and we are going to put it right in front of where that door is. Right, just like that. And then we are going to climb it and see, can we open this one as well? Yes, we can. Hey, can we get in there? Uh, no. Can't get in there, but it exists, so that's kind of cool. Uh, nonetheless, th it's a neat thing. I just don't understand what we could use it for. It's very nice. It's extremely, I mean, extremely detailed. You can tell that the modder took a long time and, and a lot of effort went into making this. I just don't understand it. So... <laughs> Help. Your next to last mod today is Seasons Geo Central Georgia by Z84. Maximum realistic climate and harvesting calendar for Georgia. Weather is based on data from Greston, Georgia, here in the United States. And if we take a look at the planting calendar, we can see that we get a lot of planting time and a lot of harvesting time. That all makes a lot of sense to me. You can also do cotton, which is great. And you got a big planting and harvesting time for cotton as well. So this is going to be a great Seasons Geo. I think this is going to be a very easy Seasons Geo as well. Gosh, check this out. You might even be able to do double cropping on this ever know. And your last new mod for all platforms today, welcome to Polska Krajna, a very nice small Polish map for Farm Sim 19. The map has three farms, several fields, a lot, a lot of fields actually, uh, a lot of small forests and much, much more. Krajna is a forested area in Poland, so having all the forests makes a whole lot of sense. The map is compatible with Seasons mod, and the modder says, I wish you'd all to have some fun. If we take a look in here, if we take a look just here, you can see it's actually pretty small, comparatively speaking, but this is a very nice, extremely detailed map. Uh, look, see 74, 75, 85, 86, 88, 92, I think 92 fields, something like that. Absolutely incredible there. That's really, really cool. I'm loving that. Every single area is individually purchasable, so you're not going to be rolling around trying to figure out, do I need to buy three fields? Do I need to buy eight fields? Do I need to buy the whole map for $999 million? Almost $1 billion. It's a little bit expensive. Maybe just don't buy the outside of the map, and I think you'll be good to go. Even, che even cheating that much money in is going to be tough. Goodness. Otherwise, very cool. We do get a reasonable... Actually, we do get a reasonable amount of fields to start with, 39, 45, 10, 19, and 11, plus the main farmyard, and we get a forested area down here on the right-hand side of the map as well. Multiple selling stations, so you're not going to be forced to sell at the same place over and over and over again. Grain Elevator East and Selling Station 2. We also have Barn and Spinnery as well, so not a bunch, but you still get a few. If we go into the vehicles that you start with, we're going to be getting the Fent Favorite 515. This is the one with the big engine, 150 horsepower. You also get the New Holland T5 100, get 99 horsepower. Bison Super, we get a trailer, we get a header for it, of course, a plow cultivator, cedar. We do get a sprayer as well, which is neat. You don't always get a sprayer for a new farmer. Plus, we get ZZZ Farmhouse. That's pretty cool. 
Nonetheless, you guys gotta check this map out, at least give it a walk around. This is a really, really nice map. Moving into updates for all platforms, we've got three of them. The first one is the Wooden Sheds Changelog 1.002. We've added a barn with husbandry. This is for cows. Going to have 15 cows in here. Upkeep course, $100 per day, and price is $25,000. Otherwise, it is exactly like all the other wooden sheds, just with cows. We've got an update to the ITS Limkin Pack. Change log 1.7. Oh, man, we're already in 1.7. Added the Compactor K600, which you see right in front of you. This is a seedbed combination. And also added and fixed the seed pipes between the tractor and the KA600. And your last update for all platforms today, we have the Cow Shed. Change log 1.1. Fixed the milk tank trigger, added lights at 9, fixed the dedicated server warning, changed the mod description number, and changed the animal food spill areas. Moving into updates for PC and Mac players, today we have the AgroLift BT, changelog 1.001, improved the plates, and the BT30 machine price has been adjusted, which is in front of us now. And your last mod today, an update to the man TGS winter service for PC and Mac players, changelog 1.0.1. One mod and store icons have been changed and <laughs> added track options. How's about that? That's awesome. That looks so good. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new and haven't subscribed already. Join the GoHam fam and turn your notification bells on so that you never miss another daily Farm Sim News video here on the channel. With all that being said, hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Peace.